All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to do our potassium test on our two soil samples. Uh, this is very similar to the phosphorus test, except for one, one key difference. Uh, after the pipetting step and adding the potassium test uh, tablet, we actually determine the level of potassium by the number of drops of potassium indicator that we add to the solution until the color changes. So the the fewer the drops we need to add, the, the higher the potassium level. Uh, we're gonna get started on this and we'll pick it up when we get to the indicator solution part. Okay, ladies and gents, we have finished our potassium extraction. We pipetted the extraction solution, which should contain the potassium in it to a second test tube. And then we added our potassium test tablet and shaken our test tubes until they're fully dissolved. Now it's time to actually determine the level of potassium in our soil samples. Now to do this, we need to add, in succession, drops of potassium indicator solution. Now, what should happen is, after we add the solution, we're going to shake the vial. And if it turns completely blue, we know we've, we've reached a level that we need to stop adding the solution. Uh, if it changes completely blue between zero and, or one and 10 drops, we know we have a high level. If it's between 10 and 20 drops, it's a medium level. And if it's 20 drops or more, it's a low level. So we're gonna start by adding, we'll say nine drops to our vial. So I'll just bring this up close so we have a better shot at it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you can see the top has already turned a bit blue. So what we need to do now is cap it and shake it. So just put the cap on, like so, and give it a little shake. And what do we see? It has turned completely blue as compared to our other one, which is still purple. So we know that took nine drops. So we have a high level of potassium in our crime scene. Now remember, this is for the crime scene. We have a high level of potassium in our crime scene soil sample. Now we're gonna do the same thing for our suspect sample and we will take a picture of the results.